Dr. Obin, together with a team of about 35 specialist volunteers from the USA, Senegal, Mali, Germany, and Ghana, pitched camp at the Hotechen Hospital to conduct free reconstructive surgeries. Peculiar among the hundreds who trunked the facility to access the free services was a hermaphrodite. 19-year-old Esther, not her real name, was born with both the male and female genitals. Now I was seven years. When I was seven years old, my parents decided to seek medical care for my condition. My condition is that I have the male and female organs. We spent so much money at Comfortanoche, Kolebu, and other big health facilities, but nothing could be done. Gaining admission into the senior high school came with its challenges due to situations at the boarding house. She explained that she always wondered why she was created with both sexual organs and hence could not mingle with her colleagues. I had been asking myself, what am I doing on earth? I do not have friends to talk to or play with, so I decided to be alone and not go closer to any of my colleagues. Esther added that her school's counselor approached her and decided to help her with her condition, noticing her antisocial life on campus. So I counseled her and her kind of, uh, the distress has been reduced. Then um, I'm still on any way, it has not ended. But uh, I thought that, I thought of it that. For the problem to be solved, she needs a medical attention. So I have to bring her to the hospital. After the counselor accompanied Esther to seek medical attention during the restore mission with the approval of her parents. I just saw a patient who is 19 and she has both a penis and a vagina. The vagina is smaller, the penis is smaller. She wants to be a girl. She's a girl, she's been raised as a girl. And on Wednesday, we are going to you know, do gender uh, affirmation surgery to make her completely turn into a woman. And remove the penis, enlarge the vagina so that she can have normal intercourse. Esther went through the surgery successfully, which she said did not only restore her confidence, but positioned her to be the woman she had always dreamt of. Some other 134 persons benefited from the week-long health outreach. The specialist operated on persons with conditions ranging from goiter, tumor, urology, deformity of the male organ, keloid, lipoma, and Burns reconstruction, among others. Dr. Obin called for special attention to ensuring universal health coverage in Ghana. Now patients come, and as soon as you ask them to pay something, they leave. They don't have the money. And apparently some of the doctors also, you know, wants to charge more, even though these patients have insurance. I also just found out today that the National Health Insurance Scheme doesn't cover pretty much anything. And uh, so I'm getting conflicting stories. And I hope that you know, this country will pay a little bit more attention to health care. Now, if we can give free education, we up to try to also, you know, offer more for health care. Because when you have health, you have wealth. A healthy nation is always a wealthy nation. The Restore Free Plastic Surgery Mission saved the 135 beneficiaries of millions of cities in accessing health care for their respective conditions. Fred Kwame Asari, Joy News, Ho.